going to walk through installing a Canon copier on Windows 8. So first thing we want to do is go to Canon's website. It's canonusa.com or usa.canon.com. And then once you're here, we're going to go ahead and click on the support and drivers link at the top. On the support and drivers page, product type, we're going to select office equipment. Under product family, you're going to find whichever type copier you have. I'm currently using an image runner advance. Under product series, look for your model number. I'm using a 5030. Under model, you'll select drivers and software. Now, Canon's website automatically detects your operating system. If you are downloading for another one, make sure you change this to match whatever operating system you're installing the driver for. Under recommended for you, it should bring up these. You want to select the UFR2 driver. Once you click that, agree to the terms and conditions. And then we're going to save this to our desktop. That way we know where it is. It will download there. We're going to go ahead and double click that and run it. It should automatically extract to your desktop. And here's our extracted file. Once that's completed, we want to go ahead and open up our devices and printers window. And in Windows 8, you're going to hold down your Windows key and the letter R. That will bring up your run command. We're going to type in the words control space printers, then click OK. And we have our devices and printers window. Once here, we want to go ahead and click the add a printer button. Now Windows 8 automatically searches for all connected copiers on the network. So we want to go ahead and skip this. We're not worried about it. Go ahead and select the printer that I want isn't listed. Here we're going to make sure add a printer using TCP IP address or host name is selected. Click Next. Next screen, device type. We're going to change this to TCP IP device. And then you're going to type in the IP address of your copier here. Once you have that in there, make sure this box is unchecked. Click Next. Next screen, we're going to select Have Disk. And then we're going to browse to our folder location here on the desktop. So select Desktop and then go to the UFR2 folder. Double click the driver folder next, and here is our driver. Click Open and OK. Now we have to scroll through this list, find the model number that we're working with. Again, I'm working with a 5030. So scroll down until we find it. Click Next. Here you can name the copy or whatever you want. Typically, just leave it the same, what it is. And then Windows will install the printer. Once your printer is installed, you'll see this window. Make sure do not share this printer is selected unless you're installing this on a server to share out to other computers. Go ahead and click Next. And then, of course, you can set it as your default or not, however you prefer. We're going to skip printing a test page for just a moment. Go ahead and click Finish. And here's our installed printer. And we're going to change some defaults on it. So right-click and go to Printer Properties. Once your properties window comes up, we're going to click on Preferences. And in here, we're going to change our color mode from Auto to Black and White. And then we're also going to change the one-sided, two-sided booklet printing from two-sided to one-sided. Click OK. And then we're going to print a test page, make sure everything comes out correctly. If you get a good test page, you're good to go.